Hello, my name is Pastor Philip. Uh, today we're going to be talking about election in Liberia and also the uh, ritualistic killing in Liberia. Ritualistic killing in Liberia goes with election in Liberia, especially at this time when people are preparing uh, to go to the poll. And in most cases, um, politicians and others uh, who think and feel that the only way they can be elected or the only way they can hold certain position is to go through some ritualistic killing. That is by kidnapping kids or even adults and, 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 and kill them and take their bodily parts and take their parts and, 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 and go to the witch dieter who will perform some ritualistic act that will give them that position. But that is a lie from the devil. 2011 election. I'm appealing to the President of the Republic of Liberia, Madam Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, that those who will be caught in this act, or those who are planning to carry on ritualistic killing in Liberia because of position, I'm appealing to the President they should face the full weight of the Lord, if caught, because it is not, it's nonsense. How can people who, they, how can people expecting the people to vote for them and at the same time killing their children? How can this happen? The children of Liberia, 1990, a lot died. A lot of children died in 1990. And children continue to die. And somebody won position somewhere thinking that they're going to drain the blood of innocent kids just to acquire or obtain certain position, especially at this time of election. But Madam President and the Liberian people will continue to pray that the God of hell and earth, the God of mankind, the God of all creation will expose and judge all those that will be caught and all those that are planning to carry on ritualistic killing in Liberia because they are all demonic. They are all demonic. You cannot benefit from ritualistic killing. What happened for those who use those or uh, 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 kill people in the past and, and take extract parts from them? What happened to them today? They will all die because those acts are demonic. They are satanic. They are satanic. You cannot obtain or be elected to a position by the blood of innocent people for some uh, 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 reason. God will not allow that, especially in Liberia where innocent children even as I'm speaking now, people are planning for this election in a demonic and satanic way by going to which doctor or some want to be re-elected and some want to be elected to certain position. And if they can face the people in the constituency, if they can face the people in their district for re-election or to be elected for certain position, purpose then they should not use innocent blood they should not go and start killing people they should not secretly go in a rubber farm or in the villages or uh, uh, kidnapping kids or uh, uh, killing them taking the body parts for some voodoo or, 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 or juju as we may call it to acquire or to hold certain position but I pray that the God of heaven will expose Liberians will continue to pray all over, from Grand Cape Mount County to Lofa County, from Lofa County to Grand Cru, to Sano, to Maryland, to Grand Gide, to River G, all over, Liberians will continue to pray that the God of heaven and earth will expose the ritualistic killers. Let ministers, Liberian ministers, all over, pray. Because 2011, God will expose the ritualistic killers.
and the president of Liberia, we are appealing to her to bring those caught to justice. Let them face face the full weight of the Liberian law, not to have a, 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 a weight, but the full weight, not to have weight, but the full weight of the Liberian law. We cannot afford to go through what we went through in the past. When people will take advantage of young people, when people in government in other areas will go in the forest and just kill people and, and, and strike the body parts and, 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 and try to, 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 to gain favor or position somewhere, they will not work. If they want a the blood of innocent person, let them go to Jesus Christ who share his innocent blood for them. That's the blood. If they want a position, whatever position, let them go to the blood of Jesus Christ. If they want to gain favor, let them go to the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ that covers everything. The blood of Jesus Christ that set us free. That's the blood. Not innocent six or seven years old kids. Some people killing their own children just for position. I'm appealing also to the Human Rights Watch and the Human Rights Organization. Not only going to Liberia to observe the election, but they should go there to observe those evil things that are planning to take place. Or those evil things that people are planning to do in Liberia. I pray that Human Rights, Human rights Watch and other uh, uh, human rights organizations will go there and make sure that all perpetrators, those who plan to do those things, will be cut and brought to justice. Liberians and appealing to Liberians abroad in the United States, United Kingdom, all over to continue to pray for this election. Not only praying for the Kennedys, but let them pray for the children and the people of Liberia, that God will protect them and that God will expose those ritualistic killers that 2011 it will be a time when Liberia will be free from the ritualistic killers. That the children will be able to walk through the towns and villages and be happy and say, Thank God we are free. And the God in heaven, the creator of mankind, will bless the children and will expose and bring to justice those killers. Thank you. May God bless you. This is Reverend Philip Blambo saying thank you and have a good day. And may God bless Liberia. And may God expose George and bring to justice those ritualistic killer. God bless you and God bless Liberia.